and good day. Today we're having a look at this. It's the Fimi A3 by Xiaomi. Not a lot on the box. Very little actually. And uh, we'll pop the box aside and I'll show you what comes in it. The very first thing you should do is update the firmware, which is what you should do before you uh, attempt to fly the quadcopter. Go to the uh, FIMI A3 page, scroll down quite a bit and you'll find right down towards the bottom, if I can get there in a second, we're, at, uh, we're nearly there, download, here we go. And that tells you over here the latest firmware that's available which is this one here for the camera, uh, for the controller and remote control uh, firmware. You've got here the different downloads that you need to do so you just simply click on one which I've done there it starts to download as you can see in the bottom we'll do the other one here for the camera which will also start downloading. Um, we've got the uh, controller over here that's the control firmware and you've got the manual so you need to get the three of them as you can see I've got the three downloaded here you then extract them you've got one for the camera one for the flight controller and one for the remote control you just simply open them up and copy that across onto the little SD card and insert it into the appropriate device and you copy everything onto the little SD card and insert it into the copter and uh, obviously you pop the battery in lock it in place, turn it over short press and then a long press to actually activate the quad itself you'll notice that the white lights in the front of the LEDs are very slowly blinking when the firmware has done its update they'll blink quite fast and you can see them blinking quite fast now so the update is now complete. Now once you've fully charged the quadcopter itself and your uh, radio has been fully charged we turn them on which you just simply quick press on that hold it down that fires up with the actual quad hold it down for a quickly just a second or two wait till it beeps and then hold down for a few seconds after that and there you go that's now turned on what we're going to be doing today uh, will be a bit of calibration first up we want to bind the units together it's just uh, giving you a bit of info there so we'll click OK get out of that we'll go to the side and uh, we come down Oh, there it is, RC pairing. Click on that. Now we hold the button down for a second. It's now started. What we've got to do on this is hold the button for a couple of seconds. And now it's in pairing mode. And pairing was a success, so it was pretty quick to do. Press the button again to get out. We're going to go into calibration now. Press calibration. We're going to come down to do the RC calibration. come down to uh, gimbal we just press that one press OK gimbal will go a bit crazy for a few seconds and uh, once it's done it has to go to 100% which it will in a second and there we go the calibration is a success we press the button again this time we're going to come down to the IMU calibration just press the button press again we follow the illustrations and as you can see the quadcopter needs to go upside down so we'll flip it over and uh, it'll take a couple of seconds and then we'll be doing the next illustration what I might do to speed this up a little bit for the video is I'll cut out the wait times and just show the actual orientations that are required and 
and as you can see now we need to rotate it again so we need now to Ninety, and there we go calibration is su uh, successful so they're the steps you need to do uh, before you actually fly now obviously the compass calibration you do that in the field you intend to fly in now we're about to do the gimbal horizontal fine tuning there's going to be a little green line across the screen now you can lift the legs of the quadcopter up so that that becomes perfectly level with the horizon itself and uh, once you've done it you press the button again and it calibrates and locks it in place and we'll have a bit of a look at the different settings available in the controller little joystick on the side here if you push it up it takes you straight into flight modes so these are all the different ones you can actually use there's quite a few as you can see if you press the button down, it takes you into the actual mode and you can set it. We don't need it. If you click to the left, it takes you out of the menu. If you pull straight down, it takes you into the camera menu. And again, we've got quite a few different settings in here, as you can see. I'll just quickly scroll through them. Give you an idea of what is available there's quite a bit of control as you can see over each of the different settings click to the left takes you out now if you click to the left Again, takes you into the general settings. So this is all the settings combined. We've already seen the flight um, modes. We've seen the camera settings. Let's come down to the next little bit. So again, I'll just very quickly scroll through these, give you an idea. As you can see, there's quite a quite a bit available. A lot to look at and a lot to remember but not impossible and that shows you that we're not connected to the quadcopter at the moment but again, if we press to the left, left again, takes you back into, well, the screen. And that's basically the controller. And good day. Today we're having a look at this. It's the Fimi A3 by Xiaomi. Not a lot on the box. Very little, actually. And uh, we'll pop the box aside. And I'll show you what comes in it. While I'm indoors, I might as well have a bit of fun with it. Um, you've got different ways of taking off. Uh, my favourite, of course, is just simply pulling both the uh, joysticks down to the middle sort of selection. There we go, motors are started. Now, to stop it, you just pull it down, hold it for a couple of seconds, you can stop. So you don't have to use the auto takeoff, you can do a manual takeoff if you like. 